Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this uh, video, we are going to show you how to use uh, the robot simulator uh, called RoboDK. Uh, so, you have to use this uh, robot simulator for your project uh, to program a particular robot to carry out some task. So, how to download this one? You can go to this particular uh, website, robodk.com and then you will find uh, this try now button if you click this try now you can download this thing after doing the registration and this will be free for 30 days so within these 30 days you have to uh, basically will be given three weeks so within these three weeks you can finish the project and uh, i will be showing only an introductory lecture how to use this uh, robotic particular software but remaining you have to try yourself there are the tons of resources available online and you can basically uh, see those uh, watch those videos and you can learn the software by yourself so once you down uh, once you have downloaded the software you can carry out the standard installation procedure and once you install the software then you will have uh, this particular program interface for your robotic software now this one i have done a simple simulation tutorial for a mitsubishi six axis robot uh, so this one the robot can be imported from by clicking this uh, button which i will show later on step by step process but here i have imported a mitsubishi six axis robot which are available in our laboratory and then i have attached uh, from the library a paint gun to this particular um, robots and effector and then i also imported an object to carry out a painting job of this object so and then you have to define the positions you have to teach the robot position home target uh, and all these things if you uh, i will show you all these things in ne next few minutes time but after defining the position basically you can then do the programming there are three programs here home program paint program and the main program which is calling all other programs so let's say if i run this main program then you will see the robot will do the painting job if you click so it goes to the target two to three four five six seven and then it goes back to the home so you can actually trace the path by right clicking this program and uh, clicking this display path okay then you will see the display path as well so this is basically it's going to the target two three four five six and then it goes back to the home again so this is the the program that you I have created for your tutorial video now let's see how to do it let's try okay let's uh, close this one okay I save this one to let's say uh, under robot DK tutorial okay now let's go to robotk robotk so this is the case okay let's say this is uh, originally it will come as an empty project where you have a station robotic station so let's uh, rename it by if you have to rename it you have to press f2 if you press f2 then you can rename it and let's put here tutorial 2 okay so underscore paint okay so now you have to import the robot if you click this open online library so it will go to a particular website and here you can basically uh, choose the brand for our case it should be Mitsubishi there are plenty of brands available uh, let's say Mitsubishi where is the Mitsubishi okay here is the Mitsubishi robot then let's say I want to choose six axis robot so press six axis there are plenty of six axis 
I choose a low payload robot, let's say Okay, never mind. We just choose uh, this one. 4 kg payload. Okay. Choose this one. So it will be downloaded. Once it's downloaded fully, then you can go to your download folder. Uh, I think it's still being downloaded. Yeah. Okay, so this is the robot that I have chosen. So we can just click and then just drag it here. So, oh, this is not the robot. No, sorry, this is the wrong one. This is Kara robot. Let's see, I think. Um, I think this one. Okay, yeah. Okay. So this is a robot that I have chosen. So if you want to reorient it, so you can basically press the right mouse button and then you can reorient like this, okay? So it depends on how you want to put it. So you can see here you have a base reference frame and if you press shift, uh, you plus sign, then you will see it is in, uh, the size is increased. So it's basically defining the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, for base and the tool reference frame. Okay, you can do minus, you can press the minus to make it uh, smaller as well. Okay, so now next step is to um, import a um, tool that you should attach. So you can open this one and then I have imported, uh, the, it will open an internal library and internal library goes many tools. Uh, so one of the spindle tools, spindle uh, tachometer and all these things. So let's say I put a welding gun and all these things. Let's say I put uh, paint. So let's say paint, it has paint gun. So I tool paint gun tool. So it's basically uh, a drawn object in a CAD model. So we just import it. So it will be automatically attached because it has been uh, automatically it has been attached to here with this robot because it is a tool file. Uh, but even if you do a stale file also, you can then attach it also as well. Uh, tutorial videos are available in YouTube. But because it is already a tool, so it will be automatically nested under the robot. So then we right click this one and we check whether this tool is active or not. It is active, so it is okay. So now you have another uh, point, TCP we call it. Uh, so this one is at the end of this paint. Okay, so cool. So now next one is to bring an object that you would like to, so you can click again and then you can see the object uh, which is uh, you want to paint so let's say it is object inspection or it can be STP or STL any file from your CAD software so let's say object inspection so this is the object so in reality the object will be attached to the base frame so you, if you want to shift it somewhere different place so let's say I want to move it so you click this one and double click this one then you will see the coordinates. So at the moment it is with respect to the tutorial two, which is basically this one. So we put here uh, with respect to the base, okay, Mitsubishi base, and then we put here some value. Let's say uh, we want to move in which direction? Let's say um, x direction. Let's say. So this is the X direction I want to shift. Let's say I want to shift here, let's say 300, uh, okay. Maybe a little bit more, 500, 600, okay. So this is the place I want to move and then I want to bring it in the Y towards the middle. So Y I put maybe 50, Oh, sorry, minus 50, a little bit more, minus 100, uh, let's say 
let's see if it is no it I think it should be minus two hundred or minus three hundred maybe minus two fifty would be perfect one. Yeah. It is now towards the middle. So now this is the place. Okay. So now you want to do a painting job on this object. So you have to define some points first, okay? So for your robot to move, so what you can do, this is called a set target point. So you can add this target point. Let me mine, uh, reduce the size of the axis, okay? Okay, so first step is that you can uh, place a target. Uh, so you just place a target then so this is the home position I would like to have. So I add the target. So this is first target, which I can rename by pressing F2 button. And the rename I put this one is home. Okay. Next one, I want to go from home to the painting on, on the painting of this object on the surface. So all the paint should be on the surface. So how to choose that thing on the surface? It will be very difficult if you want to do manually. You can do that by moving the robot manually. Like for example, if you double click this robot, you will see this uh, window will appear, which is basically you can move the robot in uh, like uh, XYZ coordinate system. Let's say if you do XYZ, it, you can see it is moving. Yeah, okay, in X okay you can move in y as well okay okay you can move in z as well so but this would be very difficult to select the point so let's say i want to go back to home so it is home. if you just double click it will go back to home because you have already defined the point so uh, in robotk you have an advantage to select the point on the surface so you can here do this thing, teach target on the surface. So you click this one and then you can now teach the surface. Let me increase the size. So by using the mouse roller, you can basically zoom in more. So this is, you can see a, a shadow robot is appearing. So this is the first surface I want to teach. Okay, you click this one and then you come to next one here next one you go here okay uh, okay next one maybe some here then you have another one here uh, okay and then you go third one here okay and then you go here so this is how you can basically you can reorient the robot by doing the right mouse click and then you rotate for your convenience and this might be the your last point uh, last second last and this is the last point okay so you have nine points that you have taught the robot so you can then press here done so it is done now so you can go you can check here that it can go to Okay, uh, let me zoom out. Okay, home to target two, then target three, then target four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. And then you can go back to home. Okay, so you have now all the target. Not, next thing is to add programs. So if you add program, so this is the add program button where you can click uh, to add the program. So you click here, so the first program comes. So this is uh, the program that you want the robot to move to the home position. So this is the home position that you want to move. So we uh, rename it by pressing F2 button. We rename it home program okay so so how to create the program so basically you click the position that you want to move 
and then just press here these two point basically add a joint movement to the program so you click this one so this is the joint movement so when you run this program that means a robot will move to the home so these two is coming automatically this is where is basically is your joint move now this is not a linear movement this is just a simple mov command it's not mvs command okay next one is your all these targets so this one is basically is the target so you have to move to each of the target and then you have to finish the painting so you have so many points so what you can do basically you can select all the points by pressing uh, the shift button and then down arrow key and then you can right button this and say generate program uh, let me see where is the generate program mm. Oh, create program sorry not generate program create program so if you press this create program button then automatically a program will be created and this is what we called new name paint program okay so put here paint okay and then is uh, your main program which will call this program Oh, this one we have to rename also home okay and then we do um, another program we add so we call this one main program so under this main program you have to call this previous sub program this is the calling sub program so if you click this one so this uh, small window will appear so you can call program call and then you select the program called home so this is the first calling and then would be your another one which is second calling which would be basically paint so this one is called home call paint and then another one to go back after finish painting call home again so you will go back to the home again okay so I think that's the thing so now you can basically uh, run the program uh, if you see here okay uh, you can right button this one to hide the path home and right button and then hide the path and then you can basically call this program to see okay so this is the home to go then you do the painting by moving through all the points and then go back to home I don't know why the path is still showing let me see okay uh, let me try one more time I think there might be some issue that is not hiding the path but supposed to hide actually but nonetheless this is overall the whole uh, scenario how to use the robot EK program so this is the introduction for the robot EK hope you have understood and uh, by today or tomorrow I will upload the, uh, the project that you have to carry out using this robot EK program thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wa